aristocratic French boy, and then there's cute unbuttoned backpacker. We just wanted it. Rolling. 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 We wanted everything down to the guys to be a choose your own adventure. And there's the all-American guy played by Cory Monteith and the handsome aristocratic French boy. And then there's cute unbuttoned backpacker. We just wanted it to be a little bit like a flip book for girls, you know, they could go through and, oh, that's the guy I would like. We've kind of got the whole thing going on. We can't complain. They're all very handsome guys and very sweet. Emma, I got everything I want right here in this truck. How about you? Owen is played by Corey Monteith. He's fantastic. We were really lucky to get Corey Monteith because he's impossible to get with the success of Glee. Corey's so funny because he's definitely the like one who documents everything on set. How you doing? I'm Corey Monteith. I'm here at Raleigh Studios in Budapest, Hungary, on the set of Monte Carlo. And I'm gonna go inside and check it out because we are making some movie magic. Follow me. He's always on set, brightening everyone's day, laughing, smiling, telling jokes, taking pictures. In this scene, Grace is gonna be slapping Theo across the face. So I was thinking maybe I could get some lessons in how to do like a stunt slap. Do it, do it. Harder. No, I can't. Do it. Okay, really? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, I don't wanna hit you. I love the pain. But of course he's dramatic, and so he was like, so Selena hit me today, and he's telling everyone on set. You know, you look at her and you think that the slap wouldn't sting, but man, I'm still a little shook up about it. Bonjour. Je ne sais pas la maison. Means I don't know the house. Which doesn't make any sense. Which is why I like to say it. Je ne sais pas la maison. I don't understand what you mean. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything? My French really sucks. I'm trying to pretend like I know how to speak French. Progress, yes. Really? Progress, yes. Is it all right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Come on, let's do this again. The special quality about Corey is that when he's on the street signing autographs for hundreds of Parisian little girls, he's just the sweetest guy. Oh, it's going to be on the DVD. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely like really sweet, and he's he's definitely one of my favorites. Me and Luke are just talking about the fact that we're not really in this movie. You it's know. way more about the girls. We just have to feel in space. My name's Riley. What's yours? Luke Bracey plays Riley, uh, Meg's love interest. He's cute. It's fun. <laughs> And he's Australian. I really do like Riley as a person. I think if he was a real person, I think I'd be friends with him. He's my kind of guy. He's nice and relaxed. Luke Bracey. He is hunky, hot, handsome. He's all the H's that you would want in a movie star. He's also a fine actor. Hey, mate. Third floor. Grimaldi Suites, the first movie that I've ever made and such an exciting thing to, as you can see, we're you know, behind the set on these massive sound stages with these elaborate sets and it's really beautiful. Most people aren't lucky enough to even come to the Eiffel Tower, let alone us who, who get it all to ourselves. We're very lucky people. No matter where we were, Budapest, Monte Carlo, his shirt was probably unbuttoned a little bit above the navel. I think I need as least buttons done up as possible. It's just a really nice and relaxed feel. Uh, I don't like to be burdened down by, by clothes. It's a bit, a bit annoying. I got here and I was sitting around doing not much. Was, the sun was coming out and I thought, look, it was staring me in the face. It was calling my name, so I had to dive in. And then you have Pierre, who plays Theo. He's French. And I'm Yeah, great. I still made it before the little monster arrived. Paparazzi, stop. Theo is played by Pierre Boulanger. He was the only possibility for Theo for me. He's an incredibly gifted actor, took the part very seriously, and was an incredibly good sport. I am having fun because it's a comedy and uh, it's slight, so I am happy. <laughs> he is so nice in real life, that acting like the posh, jerky cat, that's really a feat for him. 
forgot how I hate the French. I've never hit anyone in my life, ever. He's like, Selena, just slap me. It's okay, just, just hit me, it's okay. She was, no, I cannot do that because you're gonna... Uh, she is very cute, she do, she do not want to hurt anyone. I deserve it. <laughs> When you're French, you expect the, the best kiss ever. <laughs> what? What? In a world of ball gowns and hair and makeup, these guys were so happy just to have each other and some testosterone in the room that any chance they could, they were joking around amongst themselves. I'm Selena Gomez on set of Monte Carlo, and here's behind the scenes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Selena Gomez on set of Monte Carlo, and here's behind the scenes. <laughs> Mick! Well, here we are, Monte Carlo. The changes between Cordelia and Grace are very <laughs> drastic. It takes a lot of time. Chair, which is why I get comfortable with these lovely people. Look, with her hair pulled back, <gasps> you look just like her. The different hairstyles that Francis and Tom kind of collaborated on what they wanted to do with the characters, we wanted to make sure that they were very different. So, all the times that you see Cordelia, her hair is always up. With Grace, you keep her hair down, light, easy. With makeup, it's pretty much the same idea. My nails go from dark red to clear. It's that simple. <laughs> we can explain. But really, the person who takes the most time in hair and makeup is Luke. Always waiting on him. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is I have no scenes with him, so I don't know why I'm always <laughs> waiting on him, but I am. My character is definitely all about comfort, so I'm wearing cowboy boots half the movie. Check this out right now. Well, people are maybe looking at your necklace, but... Uh... Me? I am admiring the boots. This is the $3 million necklace. It doesn't really cost that much, but it was made for the movie, so... Bulgari. Bulgari. My life. We're always waiting for Leighton. Ah, Leighton. No, we're just kidding. She was in a different scene before, so she had like a two-hour changeover. Yeah, so we have to have movie magic and pretend that she's here with us, but she's not. In our presence. Where have you been? You relax, it's okay, she is right here. Well, today was a very interesting day. I started the day early in Machu Picchu, um, at the end of the movie, and now we're back towards the beginning of the movie in Monte Carlo in full ball gown regalia. But yeah, the changeover was nice and long. I showered, new hair, new makeup, new wardrobe. Coming to set is always really cute with my hair up in a net and a robe and flip-flops, so. It's not exactly the finished product, but yes, now I'm completely done. Did you care to dance? No, thank you, Dom. He's not talking to you. Enchante. We're in Budapest, and the cafe definitely has a Parisian feel to it. The outside patio and the seating and it being really close. We're sitting down having dinner, and they're bringing our steaks and not even letting us eat them, and then we're bringing the creme brulee, and, and it's just sort of a nightmare. No, I can't eat that. Oh. Uh, I need a fork. I need a spoon. I also think the scene is just really funny because the extras are actually Hungarian, but look like American tourists. What? What? I want to know where we're going. Earlier today, we were in the back of the cab. The three of us got into half a car, and the cameras were in front of us. And it was fun because we didn't ever really get out. It was really, really hot, but it was still really fun. Miss, mademoiselle, that way. This is a very brief stop on our tour, but I get to meet a semi-attractive guy and uh, fall down, which was like a stunt. I didn't know how to do stunts. I was like, how do you fall and pretend it's real? And action! Find a step. Cut. <laughs> 